Okay, I thought I'd have one or two games this morning. So, Bowman's 2020. Uh, playing like F6. Invite White to close the position up. And then strike out the D4 square. Fairly logical so far, just, just putting more pressure on D4. Alright, Gambit. I think um, I could try and accept the Gambit and, and fight off the attack just for a laugh. <laughs> I think I'll do that. A bit provocative. Uh, okay. Well, Queen G4 is going to be dangerous though as well. Maybe G6 and H5. So I really want to counterattack on e5, if possible. Um, maybe knight c5 to e4 as a counter pawn sack. At some point, uh, I think h5. Though g6 might be target. Uh, rook g8 and g5 here. Is that ridiculous? Uh, Queen c7 first, or? And the Queen's a target on the C file, I think, so, um... Maybe Rook G8 for a laugh. But I really want to try and get these, uh, these pieces developed. The Knight and Bishop in particular, and the Rook. Hmm. Okay, can I just take that? And then try and attack d4. Like queen d4, attacks the bishop on d3. And the pawn on e5. I think that might have been the blunder actually, turn out queen d4. If I'm going to get the center now. Ah. Okay, can I develop the bishop on c8 though? I'll try and play uh, rook c8. Well, okay. Try and go for the exchange of queens. I think bishop d7 is going to be important. And now I can get in d4 and bishop c6, so I can unravel. So he's unraveled my queen side. So d4, queen could be attacked. Uh, it stops bishop c5 anyway. So uh, I'll go for that. Whoops. Uh, That wasn't quite intended. Oh dear. Uh, queen e7. I'm not losing the bishop just yet. Uh, well, bishop f6, yeah, I would be losing the bishop. Oh dear. If I can get in g5, it's going to play bishop g5 again. And just queen e7, bishop f6 would win. Bishop, unfortunately. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe a five here. Just to stop Bishop B four. Right, so he might have given me a chance to play Rook E eight or something. Queen F five. If I can get Queen F five in. So he was just winning a piece there, queen e7, bishop f6, and then he could have taken the bishop. So something went wrong tactically. I've, I think I've just been playing far too provocatively this game. Uh, don't usually accept that sort of um, gambit. It's too dangerous, I think, in a five minute game. Uh, it's got me trapped here. Still go back to win a piece with Bishop G5 now. Hmm. Right, can I just evict the Queen now with Queen F5? Um, I think I have to because Rook C7 is going to be really dangerous. Hmm. Bishop 
bishop c6 and king d7 that sort of thing or maybe uh can't play rook d8 though, I'm going to lose that d pawn. Uh, it's, a, it's a price that has to be uh, paid to lose the d pawn, I think. Try and just. Uh, King d7, g5. Then maybe a4. a4 might be useful first. Uh, no, if I get the king to c7, there's b4, takes, takes, and then I'll probably be in trouble again. Uh, so, on the other hand, I'll never get this rook out, so, uh, oh, difficult, difficult to defend this. I'll just try and do this, I think. Maybe take some king b6. Okay, king b6 here. Uh, I'm just going to get the bishop back into the attack. Bishop g5. Uh, bishop d5, bishop e3. Uh, king b5, rook c5. Okay. Maybe rook a3 anyway. Uh, so I'm possibly playing exchange sack if bishop e3 becomes really dangerous. Well, I can get the rooks off. Get a pair of rooks off. He's running short of time. And get a rook a1 in. Or rook a4. Which rook to a4? Ah. Oh, I think this one anyway. Maybe rook g4. Counter attack. Two rooks and bishop could be good. Oh, I missed that one. So is b6 dangerous? I hope not. Um, rook c4 is that necessary? Otherwise, rook c8. I think it might be. So my rooks are trying to fend off. Vicious attack, as usual, in this game. Uh, okay, so rook a5, provoke b6. Alright, so my king can go to a6 now. And what does this mean now? Um... Maybe just oh, go back to a4 to g4 again. Uh, well, the, the bishop's now protecting. I can, king can escape by b5 anyway. So let's just go on to the attack for a change. Oh, bishop's actually protecting h4. Glad I didn't take that. So, um. Ah, okay. I can threaten rook b1 and rook h1. Hmm. Bishop f3 to stop king coming out. Rook on the 7th. So rook e2 is just trying to win some material. There's that pat pattern in the long game recently of rook d1, but um. Whoa! Ah! Uh, nope. Okay, I think the king might need to get involved. Get the king up here. Oh dear. Right, um, I get the king over here to d3. Oh well, um, please leave any comments or questions on YouTube. Uh, that wasn't a particularly um, inspired game. I shouldn't have accepted this gambit. It's too dangerous, this gambit, I think. Uh, especially, I like this. This is cautionary sort of stuff. Um, is using that a4 to get to g4, very nice nice play. And <clears throat> I've gone wrong here, but in fact, this is really dangerous now. I think I needed to play. Well, it's dangerous because of bishop c5 as well as bishop g5. So this is fairly critical. He could have at least drawn this by force or won a piece with check and bishop f6. And then queen takes d7. So that's a bit of a... Um, 
yeah, missed opportunities from the opponent to let me escape from the king. And then uh, the time pressure started creeping in, of course. Uh, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.